What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing a S10 valence on the hard body. Now I took this valence off of a blazer, but the blazer S10 and the S10 pickup are the exact same thing and they have the same exact valence. Vary from 82 to I believe like 87 or 89. Uh, so that's the year you want to look for in a blazer. If you get like a 90s blazer or a 90s S10, I should say, the valences change. Now I'm gonna post a picture of the exact truck that I picked it up at the junkyard right now. So yeah, there you go. That's the truck I got it off of and you guys heard me correct. I got this off of the junkyard for I believe 12 bucks. So I really can't complain with that. It is a little damaged, but it's okay because it's gonna get a lot more damage with how low my truck is. I got the valence right here. The only issue that I'm having is the truck was uh, not wrecked, but it had a little bit of a ding on the fender. So it kind of caused this to warp a little. But that's no big, it's plastic, it's polyurethane, so it'll come back to form eventually. Um, I can just heat that up. And then two, it has a little bit of damage right there from, I believe the frame rail sits right behind there, so if you hit anything very, very gently, it does that. So uh, yeah, can't really complain since I'm gonna be dragging this on the ground. But as you can see, it has this little lip right here which this little lip is very useful. If you guys saw my Ranger lip or Ranger valence install, it's pretty much the same identical thing, except this one is a little shorter, but it's a little longer. You don't have to remove your bumper if you don't want to, but I already removed my bumper because I just painted my truck. If you guys haven't seen that, I did paint the truck. So if you guys wanna go back and watch that video, I'll probably have it down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, painted the truck all by myself and it came out pretty decent. But since I painted the whole entire truck, I needed to remove the bumper and all that so I wouldn't get overspray on that. But right now, I just have one bolt holding it over here. And just to show you guys the little lip down here. So you can see this little lip right here. So this lip on top of here can sit on that little lip right there and it'll just hang from it. And there you have a very rough idea of what it's gonna look like. Obviously the sides aren't mounted, so I'm probably gonna have to zip tie those to the fender or find a way to fasten those up. But the main thing here is to center the valence left to right. So this bar right here is perfectly centered. So if you go straight to the bumper, this valence has a bolt from the factory, which it was fastened this way. So that is perfectly centered. So you can see it shifted over to one side. So we want that to be pretty much right here for it to be centered. I drew a line down the center and I'm gonna measure from here to where this hole is. It looks to me like about three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna measure from the edge three quarters of an inch in, drill a hole. I will also have the Ranger valence I did, uh, the, the link to the video down in the description in case anybody wants to check that out. I, I do like that lip. I like the way that one fills up the whole entire bumper better than this one, but I like this one because it hangs lower. So it depends what you want. I have a little pilot hole on the center, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole right here, and I'm gonna use the factory hardware that the lip came with that I got at the junkyard in order to fasten the valence. What I did is I pushed this back to where the valence right here was hitting on the bumper over here, and then I drilled a little hole and did a zip tie on the factory hole on the fenders. I on the factory hole right here for the hard body fender. These are four x four Pathfinder fenders, but I believe even the stock two wheel drive fenders have a hole. It's just in a little bit of a different area because of the way the valences are, but they still all have a hole there for the valence. So I uh, pushed it forward as much as I could. That way it would be flat over here. And then I drilled a hole. So now the bumper or the lip, I should say, can't fall back that way and give it that weird angle because of the zip tie there and it'll help it with flexing. So now that I did that, I have a little bit of over overhang. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow the arch right here of the wheel well and cut straight down like that to match the angle. Now you can see kind of an idea what it's gonna look like. I do still have to cut off this excess right here and then this gap I'm not really a fan of, but I don't know if I can get rid of that. So. Uh, Right now what I'm trying to do is get the bumper straight because that is kind of causing me some issues since this bracket that holds the bumper in place. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Right there where you can see that gap and this piece is moving. That should be welded to that right there. But that ended up cracking so now the bracket that holds the bumper kinda, it's cracked so this whole side just sags down. So. 
what I'm gonna do real quick is kind of put it where I want it, where I feel like it's good, and then throw a little bead on top of there, and I think it should be a lot easier and look better. All right, time to weld this up. Now that I got that bracket welded, now we can go ahead and cut the excess right here. Here it is. I got the sides trimmed and ready to go. All I need to do is clean it up a little bit more, but you can see it flows pretty good. It hangs way lower than the one that I had on there. Just in case anyone is wondering, this is how big it is. If you mount it on the top, I guess, at the bottom of the bumper, then from there all the way to the bottom it's about four and three quarter and that's pretty much all the way around the sides are a little bit taller but i would say maybe by a quarter inch so i'm just guessing that it's about four and a half it looks more like four and five eighths so even better and then there's this side so there you go that is what the s10 valence looks like on the hard body I pulled the truck down, that way you guys can get a better look at what it looks like. I uh, got the bumper all welded up, so bumper sitting straight, everything's good to go. The reason why it's not painted back there is because my over fenders that I made go over that. So I'm gonna get those painted up and throw those on and then throw on my side skirts. I have all that on my channel in case anyone wants to check it out. But yeah, the lip, man, the lip looks good. It hangs really low, which is what I like. I want it to look really low. Even if you guys didn't have your truck slammed like this, this clip would definitely make your truck look a lot lower. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram and I'll enter them to the best That's of my ability. for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys.